morning everybody how's it going all right what i'm doing for my garden this year how i'm going to start my seeds uh, i'm going to do something different um i followed the channel last well i still follow the channel but last year um he did his seeds completely different and um, from what i have seen i really never researched what people were doing other than you'd see people go and and um uh, start their seeds in, in soil and in those little little slot things and that was it and uh, what I got my in, uh, thought from was um, Rockin 8 Farm Chris very cool guy he has a good head on his shoulders you guys need to check his channel out what he did last year is he did his seeds all in when you guys go check out his deal you'll see he did them in solo cups he put a little hole in the middle of the solo cup. He put in, this is wicking rope. So basically, he stuck in, I can't remember what it was, I gotta look it up, I think it was 18, 20 inches. These lids would go on top, like that. There, It's on top like that, okay? He actually put holes in the lids. So, and believe it or not, this box, lid is pretty darn close to where what this is going to be this fit pretty good so what i did was with the wicking water water was in here he put the cups in there not the cups sit in the water but just the wick so what i ended up doing was to find out how to get i want to make i am kind of perfectionist i like to make sure every hole is the same all the way through so what i ended up doing is i use this as a template but i also did center holes with my who where is it at well as you can see my partner's out here partner in crime man guy she's shedding bad <laughs> anyway what he did and what i did is hole saw my kits that i have i have a three inch is what mine is so that's what i use three inch and there it is Okay, so what I ended up doing was I used, when I figured out my measurements where I'm going to be, as you can see, there's a bunch of lines drawn through here, crisscrossed. I tried to measure up everything, uh, you know, get it square as best I could. When I did my hole saw deals, I used this as a pilot hole that also drove through and hit this. Okay, so I pilot holed everything when I was doing these. To make sure it was all going to work right. And if you would imagine it would be an upside down. Let me show you. I'm talking to you and I'm, you're out of picture. So hold on. Okay. When you're upside down and you're looking in this. You're pretty close to being right there. So when we're in there. We're barely. I'm barely tapping the edges of this. So all these cups are going to sit. What you see. Let me just get them all set in here. Okay, they're all going to set in here. They're not setting in water. The wicks are, when you see it, if you know what I mean. You only put so much dirt, you, you fill your cups up. You have your wick that's going to go through the center, which is this right here. You're going to drill a hole in the bottom, you're going to stick your wick. So what I'm going to do is, because I've already got my pilot holes drilled right here, Okay, these are the right spot for these all to be. And because I want to get a few of these done at the same time so they don't get messed up, I'm going to stack them all together. I'll show you here and I get the camera moved back. I'll stack them all here together and I'll drill with my drill through two more of these at the same time. I'll get them all the pile of holes done and I'll move over and do two more at a time. Once I get the pile hole, that way they're all the same. They're all drilled the same. And then I'll hook my hole saw back up right here. And then I'll do my holes to the plastics. So, number one, first thing to do is let's go ahead. I'm going to drill all these holes in this whole thing. And all of my lids, get them done first. Okay, I got my drill bit on here. So I'm going to drill through every those last two. And we're going to pilot hole every one of them. You can tell when you go through. All right. 
So they should be through all the way. They are. So I'm going to move on to my next group I've got, and we'll keep right on going with them so that they all will have the same exact hole to start with. So we're going to go ahead and put the hole saw right here, and we're going to go ahead and go around through. Just going to let it go through. All right, here we go. They're all done. Everything looks good. Let me, uh, and I, I decided to use a box to do these on so I don't keep drilling through my table. Let's go ahead and show you what it's going to look like. Here's my tray. These aren't cleaned up yet, of course. But here you go. It's going to set like this. It's going to set in there. And then your cups are all set in here. So the next part is to continue drilling these all out. And as you can see, Look in there, you can see where water will be setting in there and the wick will be in there. Trim up all these edges, clean them up. But how I've done it is, I got a real sharp razor blade. I just lay it fl almost flat and just pull it right along the edge. And it literally peels it right off. Really quick, there's that one. Just trying to trim it up and make it look better, you know. There you go. I just did those center four. I'll do the same thing up here along the edge. I got a box right down here below me. Now I flip it over and I do the same thing right here. And as you can see, that's where the cups will sit through. All right, we got the containers all cleaned up. They're all deburred. Got that all done and it looked really good. Now what we got to do is we got to drill a hole on the bottom of the cups so we can slip this wicking rope down through the cup. All right. We got four done. The cups look in good shape. So let me get these other cups done. Okay. So we've got all these drilled. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got a mark here and a mark here, my marker. And all I did was measure it out. I've got 19 and a half inches running about. And all, instead of having to use a tape measure every time to figure it out, I've just been laying them right here. There's the beginning. Here's the end. And I've just been cutting them. You don't have to sit there and measure it. So here, this should be my last one right here, I think. Here we go. So, for now, we should have 31 pieces of string, wicking string there. So now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and shove them through the bottom of the can, which should be pretty easy, and it is. There we go. And what we'll end up doing is, this will be dangling inside one of these tubs, and it'll be dangling inside the water. And the water will absorb up into the string. Now, I want to put all these in and get them ready for dirt. All right. Um, this is the seed potting mix I use. Um, I have that. And let me move back here. So that's what I use. And what I do is that's dry. You know how good that stuff is. It's very fluffy and everything. Okay, what you do is you add water in here. You want it to get uh, wet and absorb the water. I've already ordered, ordered. I've already watered some. You can see it. I need to mix it up. We need to get it pasty. And then I'll start filling my containers with my, my uh, solo cups up. All right, let me get mixing that up real quick. I'm going to grab a cup. And if you remember, we've got probably, let's see here, there's three, six. I'm going to go with about, about six inches underneath. So right now what we're going to do is, and here's my string that goes all the way through. Um, as you can see, if you look... It's nice and wet, it's squeezy, you can see the water come out of it a little bit. So we're doing pretty good, just about what we want. So now I'm going to start putting some of the soil in this can, the soil cup. I'm going to make sure that string stays in the middle. I want it for it to, to swirl around in here. Kind of, you know, going in a circle as we're going. I add some more soil and I turned it some more. So that's what we've got. I've got this one in here. I don't have water in this tub yet. I will get some later. But right now I'm just going to set that in there. 
And I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, another. I got to do eight here. I'll get eight done and I'll bring you back when we're all done and show you what they look like. As you seen a second ago, you got your solo cup. And what you're going to do is you get the solo cup, you're going to pull the, the wicking string up through the center. And as you put dirt in, you're going to make the wicking string go in a circle going up. Not against the edges, keep it more to the center. So all the wicking will, will be at the, the center of your, your growth. So basically, um, as you fill it, you're going to hold your wicking string up, put dirt around it, and you're just going to go in circles, spin the, the wicking string as you go up. Now, I believe I made these, uh, actually, I got that mark on the table. The table is marked at 19 inches. The wicking string, I would probably go ahead and add, um, add uh, I'd make it 22 inches long. Give it that much more longer. Give you a little bit more wicking string inside the solo cup. So this is what we've got right now. All right, here we go. Solo cups are in. I don't have the seeds in yet. That's coming up. But you can see uh, right here I've got, there is about two and a quarter inches of water. Um, a lot of weight in the center with these here get in there so the center falls down in there. You don't want the cup in the water. You just want the wicking string in it. So if you look, you can see that it all looks really good. There's one cup that looks like it may be hitting water. Maybe that one, but of course the table sags and we'll figure it out. But there you go. So now what's going to happen is that water is going to wick up the string. It'll go in here and keep getting wet and keep your cups watered at all times. Uh, maybe in a month from now I may have to add some water. We'll see. This is my, early, as you've seen my seed stack I've got here before. So I did a video on that before on uh, my seed box I got. And um, this is my early seeding I'm going to do, some of them. I'm going to uh, get these planted in here. These, I'm doing my, this is what I am planting now, right here. These are very good. They're very sweet. We love them a lot. So this is last year's uh, batch, and we're going to plant them again. And what I'm going to do is I know we will start three in each one. I got one, two, three. And um, what I'll do is I'll pick out the ones that doesn't perform as well. I'll eliminate them as they go. And uh, we'll keep the best ones. It tells you on the back here, it says a uh, quarter inch deep is what you want to put your seed at. So what I like to usually do is I'll just go ahead. You know, I've got this. I know it's a little screw. I know where a quarter inch is, basically. I always make a little hole. Make a little hole. And just make a little hole like that and I'll just drop these in there so we're going to drop three in one two and there's three and I'll just take them and push them in there I'm not pushing hard just gentle tapping them in there and I leave them I don't cover them ever I just leave them alone and let them go all right let me get uh, get some more seeds going here and we'll go from there I finished up he would say 75% of my seeds and uh, I've got to get some more uh, wicking string. I thought I would have enough and I did not. Um, but that's okay because some of my planting is later in the season anyway so we're, we're okay. Um, as you can see right there we've got um, three, there's actually two, there's two, uh, there's two in a row, it's two, four, six, and there's eight in each bucket. You can see how all the string is all inside there. Now, this bucket here, that bucket there, and the one behind it, you can see there's moisture in it. That has been sitting for almost a week. I haven't touched these. You can still see how the soil, soil is staying wet. The wicking string goes up into, and it's working good. So all, I have got nothing but peppers over here. I have got, um, Let's see here, there's broccoli, Brussels sprouts, um, gosh, cauliflowers back there, that's broccoli here. This here is all my wife's flowers, and I've got to plant another one of those here, and then another row back there for vegetables. That is all my tomatoes. I got three aromas, I get two long aromas, and I've got another set of long aromas back there. So I've got I do, I got to get my um, 1C challenge bucket uh, done, and I've been trying to find these, uh, what are they called, molasses buckets, I've been trying to find one around here, 
like to use that. But you can see how it's all working. I gotta lower the lights, bring them down. I've got one heat lamp there. And later this week, we're supposed to get cooler again in the mornings. I'll probably put another heat lamp over there. I do have it. The heat lamp is, well, it's over that way somewhere. Anyway, so that's what we've got going on now. Um, it's all in there. You can see all the moisture, all the water, all the wicks are in there. And so we'll just see what happens. So, and then what we'll end up doing is this here will fold down. I got to fix these. Oh, look, oh, the cat. She got on top. I gotta fix that. Darn her. She, I love the cat, but she's a pain in the neck about wanting to get inside this thing all the time. I gotta drop these, lower these lights down, get them down lower. And uh, so we'll make that adjustment. But here we go. This is what we've got. And I showed you this before. This basically flips down like that. And I just put these boards like this. That just helps keep pressure up against the, the wood. I'm do the same thing right there. It keeps pressure up against that so they don't open up. But it looks like the cat got on top, so I'm going to have to make an adjustment up there. All right, guys. Another small little thing done. There you go. That's what it looks like from a distance. Right now, it's about 70 outside here. So, All right, y'all. Have a great night. We'll talk to you later.